everyone! My name is Victoria. Welcome to my studio. Today we will create very cute Thanksgiving turkey in Adobe Illustrator. And in our next video we will create Thanksgiving invitation in Adobe Express using our cute uh, turkey we will create in Illustrator. Today is all about Illustrator. So let's rock and roll. I have opened my file with two layers. You can download this file from my Patreon website. When you will open this uh, file in Adobe Illustrator, you will see that you have two layers. One layer is this um, layer with a cute turkey outline. And second layer is our palette, art palette with all colors we will be using today. First thing first, I will select our cute turkey. Uh, in the properties panel, I will bring opacity of this turkey, of this layer down to 17%. Now I still cl can clearly preview my turkey, but it will be not on the way of my art. So this is how I love using my um, sketch or uh, outline uh, layer. Because this tutorial is for my beginners and as always guys, I would like to make everything easier for you. I will lock this layer and also I will lock my uh, art palette layer just in case uh, to prevent any unwanted modifications. At the bottom of your layers panel, we have this plus icon. Click on it to create a new layer. And now I will reposition, uh, reposition this layer under my all other layers. My beginners, I heard from you that you would love to start creating your um, vector art, but you are afraid of the pen tool. So guys, today is the day. Today we will be not touching the pen tool. Today we will be working 100% with curvature tool. I will click on curvature tool to make it active. And we will start our cute um, turkey creation from turkey's uh, tail. What I will do, I will click anywhere along uh, my turkey uh, tail sketch to create my first curvature point, just like that. And now I will just follow my sketch outline, just like that. Look at this. I closed my shape. I will need to change color of this shape and also I will need to adjust this shape in general. First of all, I would like to create straight line between these two curvature points. To do so, I will double click on my first curvature point, double click on the second curvature point and voila, I have straight line between them. Now I would like to delete extra curvature point. To do so, I will click on curvature point I would like to uh, delete and I will click delete key. Double click to create straight line and voila. Guys, did you notice I'm not switching to any other tool to adjust my close shape? I'm using same curvature tool. Yes, guys, same curvature tool. If you would like to add any curvature point to the closed shape, simply click anywhere along your shape path and voila, you have created extra curvature point. How we can change color of our uh, closed shape? To do so, I will switch to my um, eyedropper tool and I will click on this orange color, just like that. In the properties panel, I will click on stroke uh, icon and I will specify black color and I will increase um, thickness of my uh, stroke to three. This is our first part of Turkey's um, tail. Switching back to Curvature Tool, I will continue uh, creating uh, this beautiful, beautiful tail. Guys, don't stress out. Don't afraid to do something outline of my sketch. I just giving you an idea. You can modify my sketch in a way you like. You don't have to stick to my um, sketch point to point, line to line. You can modify it in a way you wish. Just like that. 
Of course, guys, also you can use any color you wish. Any color. Just like that. Look, we're almost done. And no stress. No stress creating vector art. Because with curvature point, it's so easy. A curvature um, a tool, I mean, <laughs> not point. Just like that. Look at this. And we are working on a cute turkey art. So, um, you know me, guys. Um, I'm all about uh, inspirational art. I'm all about telling the story. My art is not about how perfect my shape is, how perfect, how um, photographically correct my painting uh, or art is. It's all about telling the story. So, voila, guys! We finished our turkey's um, shape, turkey's um, tail, I'm sorry. Now I would like to adjust few shapes. To do so, I will switch to selection tool. I will select shape I would like to adjust. I will switch back to curvature um, tool and I will adjust the shape. And of course, if I would like to delete any curvature point, I can do it at any time. See guys, I'm modifying my own shape. Just like that. Now I will adjust this part of the tail, just like that. And voila, I'm happy. And again, guys, we will be back to this tail later on again. Because this tutorial for my beginners, I am no, I'm repeating myself, but still, I will lock this layer just to prevent unwanted modification. Modifications. And I will create a new empty layer. This new empty layer will be positioned on top of our um, turkey tail. That means it will be up front our turkey fail, turkey's um, tail. And now time to create her um, wings. To do so, I will click anywhere to create my first curvature point, second, and just like that. By the way, guys, uh, again, you can uh, modify my uh, shape in a way you like. You can use any colors you like. What I will do now, guys, I would like to change the color of my turkey's um, wings. To do so, I will switch back to eyedropper tool and I will pick this light color from the art palette. Just like that. Voila! I will switch back to my curvature pen. A curvature tool and I will create a turkey's body just like that. Look at this. Voila, voila and voila. I close turkey's um, body shape and right away I see that I need to modify a few points and I will do it right away. Also, I need to change the color of uh, this shape. To do so, again, guys, I will switch back to eyedropper tool and I will pick color from our color uh, art palette. But guys, you notice that I forgot to apply a stroke around turkey's um, wings and turkey body. I will do it right away. While still I have highlighted a turkey's body, in the options panel I will specify color for my stroke a black and I will increase size to 3, just like that. Now I will select turkey's um, wings and I will do same. I will specify black color and I will click increase size of the stroke to 3, just like that. And I will lock this layer, guys, for you. Just like that. Now I will create a new empty layer and I will start working on turkey's leg. And again I will switch back on my curvature uh, tool and I will create a first curvature point and voila, just like that. See, 
just follow my sketch if you're not comfortable yet to um, uh, go uh, outside of my sketch. Double click, double click, and I have straight curvature point. Right away, I will adjust this curvature point, this and this, and also I will change a color of turkey leg. I will switch to eyedropper tool and I will use orange color. And of course, need to apply stroke around it, just like that. And second leg, just like that. It's nothing too complicated, guys. It's easy, easy, easy. If you will relax and enjoy your creation, you will see how easy is it. Just like that. Beautiful. And I will lock this layer. Look at this. This is our half turkey. If I will uh, turn off visibility of our sketch layer, you will see this is half of our turkey. So now I will create a new empty layer and I will start working at, on a turkey's head. We will start with her uh, hat. First courage of point to start outlining her hat. Beauty of creating vector art is that it's too easy, it's too intuitive and Illustrator is so great with it. Just like that, we closed our shape and we would like to change color of our shape. You can pick color from my palette or you can click on um, eyedropper tool and pick any color from our image. It's up to you. And I will change stroke to three, just like that. Voila, half of our hat is ready. What I will do, I will zoom in my document for better preview for our next step. I will switch back to curvature tool. I will click, uh, double click anywhere um, inside Turkey's hat, I will create straight line just like that. And I will fill this line with a red color from our palette. And again, black stroke, just like that. Now what I would like to do, I would like to uh, expand this uh, straight line in Turkey's hat. To do so, I will switch to curvature point and I will just move those points just like that. Look at this. Voila! And I will lock this layer just for you guys. I will create a new empty layer just like that and I will start working on Turkey's head. Um, cheeks and a bottom of her head. To do so, I will click anywhere in my document in the head part to create first curvature point and I will follow my sketch outline just like that. Just like that. And I will close this shape just like that. And I need to change a color of the shape. I need to change a color to white color. To do so, I will click on, um, double click on a color picker and I will pick a white color, just like that. Voila! What is next? Next to creating bottom of a turkey neck. Guys, Again, you don't have to lock layers, but for my beginners, I will lock our layers just in case to make everything easier for you. I will lock my layer and I will create a new empty layer. After that, I will start outlining Turkey's neck. Just like that. And by the way, don't be afraid of creating as many of as less curvature point as you wish. You always can delete or add extra curvature point at any time you wish. Just like that. And I need to change color to red one. And black stroke color and increase to three. 
How cute is it? Now we will talk about turkey nose. Let me zoom out. Just like that. Let's see. Yes, just like that. I will zoom it in a little bit more and I will start working on turkey a nose. Double click to create straight curvature point and I will start as in previous cases creating her nose. Double click, double click, double, oh, I'm sorry. Double click, double click. And voila, we closed our shape. Now I need to change color. I would like to change color to the yellow. And I didn't add yellow color to our palette. Why? Because I would like to show we did it before, but I would like to bring your attention to this. You can add, uh, you can use any color you like. Click or color uh, uh, picker to open color picker panel. And from here you can pick any color you wish. I would like to use bright yellow color just like that. And I will close color picker. Using curvature uh, tool, I will adjust a nose of our cute turkey, just like that. Voila, look at this cute turkey. Let's lock the layer, just in case guys, just for you. And we will create a new empty layer. Now we will switch to ellipse tool. We will specify color to our lips, uh, ellipse tool to white, just like that. Stroke color is black and we will create this uh, simple shape, just like that. Look at this. Now we will switch back to selection tool. And when we switch to the selection tool, Illustrator opened for us this beautiful panel with suggestions. What illustration, Illustrator think we can use next. And Illustrator is right. I will click on this plus icon to duplicate my layer and I will move this duplicated layer on the side, just like that. And we have two eyes. Now, I will switch back to my ellipse tool. I will create uh, another uh, ellipse and I will fill this ellipse with black color and I will move it just like that. And we have turkey eye. And again, Illustrator, illustrator tell, tells me, do you want to do something with this ellipse? Yes, I would like to uh, cre uh, create a duplicate of uh, this, uh, duplicate uh, copy of uh, this uh, ellipse. I will click on plus icon and voila, I have duplicated my um, ellipse. I will switch back to ellipse tool and I will create small ellipse one more time and I will change color of this ellipse to black just like that and I will move this ellipse here. Voila! You're right guys, I will duplicate this ellipse and I will move it just like that. And voila guys, look at this. Let me uh, hide our uh, sketch layer. Look at this guys, this is our cute turkey. Look at this. If you think you are done with it, you are done. But if you would like to add extra details to it, you can do it as well. What I would like to do, I would like to select our tail, turkey tail, and I will create a new empty layer. Using um, ellipse tool, I will create this simple shape, just like that. I will switch to selection tool and you are, you guys are right. I will duplicate this ellipse multiple times and I will position it anywhere I like in tails um, in turkey tails to create extra cuteness just like that look at this how beautiful is it and how easy it was guys now what i will do i will lock this layer i will select our top uh, layer our two turkey ice layer i will create a new empty layer and using ellipse tool i will create this ellipse just like that and what i would like to do i would like to um, change color 
of this layer. I would like to add a red color to it, just like that. I will switch back to selection tool. And now, guys, what I will do, I will click on this uh, repeat icon. And from here, I will click on grid, just like that. And voila, Illustrator creates grid from our um, from our uh, ellipse. So this grid created based on our layer, oh, based on our ellipse, I'm sorry. And we can modify this grid. What I will do, I will move it a little bit. I will make less uh, columns. I, I would like to have only two columns and I would like to have three rows, just like that. And I will move this on top of Turkey's body. And our Turkey now has beautiful Thanksgiving jacket on. Look at this. I will switch back to ellipse tool. I will create a one more ellipse. I will switch back to selection tool. I will click on repeat one more time. And from here, guys, I will click on radial just like that. And voila, we have beautiful flower. What I will do, I will um, bring size of this flower down and I will move it on top of our uh, turkey hat just like that. Look at this. Guys, this is our turkey. How easy it was. You can add as many details or as less details to your turkey as you like. I'm happy with uh, this turkey. It's minimalistic style. And now we have a very cute turkey. Look at this. I'm sorry, guys. Just like that. Look at this. Let me uh, hide our color palette and voila, guys. This is our um, Thanksgiving turkey. Now, guys, we will delete our art uh, palette layer and our cute turkey uh, sketch layer. Just like that. We will save this um, turkey as uh, Illustrator file in. And in our next video, we will create Thanksgiving invitation in Adobe Express using our cute turkey. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you guys for all your support. And I will see you later. Bye.